Welcome to another episode of Gym Launch. My name is Kale Owen, CEO of Gym Launch, and today I am going to break down how I would turn a submission, thank you, Sam, shout out to Sam Miller in Miami, turn their facility, which is making in October, they made $37,000 into a million dollar a year facility with really just two minor changes. Some of the information about this gym was provided by Sam, which is exceptional, by the way. Shout out to Sam, Bodied by Miller. If you go to bodied underscore by underscore Miller on Instagram, you can follow their gym. They do a great job, by the way. Sam, just telling you right now, you do a phenomenal job on your organic presence and posting a bunch of pictures, group stuff, smiling women, all this stuff. Y'all do an amazing job. So Bodied by Miller is a female only group training facility. They have about 1500 square feet. They're located in Miami and they have currently 213 members. Their monthly churn is 17%. Yes. It sounds high, but unfortunately, that's pretty normal for large group training facilities. He's got a pretty tight space in Miami. So the biggest thing that we're thinking about, and when I'm thinking through this and what I would do is I'm looking to maximize the amount of space we have and be able to charge an equivalent amount to where we can really maximize every square foot that we have. So there's a couple different options we can go here. We could potentially go and just say, hey, let's cut all large group and go straight to semi-privates. I don't think that's the right call. I think his community is exceptional. Just based on just looking at all the stuff, I think they do a great job. But what we need to do in my opinion, opinion is we need to streamline some of the group aspects of it and then really add another level of service. Now, if his gym was bigger, then I would be adding in semi-private, but his gym's pretty small, 1500 square feet and looking at the pictures and stuff, he does a good job of utilizing the space. So we're gonna have to move to a personal training model, but let's walk through what this means. It's really not as much as what most people would think of like, oh, I need a ton of clients to make this. It's really not that much. We can turn this from $37,000 a month into 84,000, almost $85,000 a month, not counting front end sales, which is gonna have to continue to happen. So. Let's break this down. His average client monthly value based on 213 members and making $37,396 and 75 cents in October is $175. He has three different membership options. He does obviously a six month membership or a month to month. If they do two times a week, it's $170 a month. Three times a week, it's 190. Four times a week, it's 199. That spread is too close on the 199 and the three time week. I would get rid of the four time week because you have a smaller space, Sam, get rid of it. Just cut it. You don't need four times a week. If you were going to offer four times a week, the only way you do that is if you offer it in a way where they have to pay in full for the entire year without a discount. And that way they can get four or five times a week to group training offers. So you don't give them a discount on the PIF for the entire year. They have to pay full price and then you call it basically a VIP membership where they get access to more classes per week. But I'm going to go ahead and go out on a limb and say that most of your clients probably only come two or three times a week. Just going to say that. From a staffing standpoint, he's got seven trainers. That includes his wife and a manager. So I don't believe that includes him based on what I was reading. So there's eight total people in the gym, which in my opinion, that's a lot for what he has. Because when I'm looking at his session cap of 22 people, based on his current numbers, he shouldn't be having more than five classes a day. If most people are coming in three times a week, which should be the average. Five classes a day will cover all of those people. You really only need four and a half, but obviously you can't have four and a half classes. So five classes a day, you could have three in the morning, two in the afternoon, or vice versa. That's really all you need right now. What I would do is I actually wouldn't change much with what you're currently doing on large group. The only thing I would make a suggestion is get rid of the four time a week and then move everyone to $49 a week billing for three times a week. If you want to keep the twice a week, that's fine. But I would keep that at like $44 a week. So make the spread. You want to try to bump people up, make the spread to where everyone's pretty much doing it the same. And if they want less, they can, you can make more money off of them. When you do this at this rate, let's just say if nothing else changed and you got everyone to pay you $49 a week, but you're billing every four weeks, which is what you already do, which is great job, Sam. But if you move everyone to that, you go from $37,000 to $44,000 without changing a single thing. So technically you bring people down from four time a week and you move people up from twice a week. If you just had everyone at three times a week at $49 a week, you're making more money already without changing a single thing. So that's the first thing I would switch is get rid of four times a week. You can keep the two times a week. Just make sure your pricing per week evens out to roughly $44, anywhere between that 41 to $44 a week, and then $49 a week for three times a week. Okay. So that's number one. Number two is your churn is obviously extremely high. So we need to implement what we call the five horsemen of retention. There's a link here in this video, which you can go to in the breakdown of the seven money models, where I actually walk through what the five horsemen of retention is. So here, and then probably in the description somewhere down below, go do that. Implement those pieces. Caveat here. And I, this is really important. When you implement the five horsemen of retention, there's a 50, 50, 50 rule that you have to remember. The first month when you implement the five horsemen of retention, your churn will actually go up by 50%. And so for this case, it's going to go up by eight and a half percent. So you're going to just be like, oh my gosh, this is the worst decision of my life. I went from 17% to 25%. Here's the deal. Month after that, it's going to drop by 50%. So it'll go down to 
like 12 and a half percent. So below what you're currently at. And then from there, month three, it will drop another 50% down to 6% and it will just pretty much settle right there. But you have to stick with the action steps that are part of the five horsemen of retention. Stick to it, do them all. Execution is really key. You'll spike and then come down by 50% and 50%. We see this across the board, okay? So that's action step number two. Action step number three, and here is where the growth comes in. Because of the size of the space, this is really important. Because of that, my suggestion would be you move to personal training. You have a ton of trainers already. My suggestion would be go to your current members. And I guarantee you right now, if you wanted to start personal training, I guarantee you at least 10% of your member base would just ascend directly into personal training. So let's just say 20 people. Those 20 people at $175 a month average client value is roughly $3,500 a month. If you move them to personal training one-on-one -on -one, and they get three sessions per week and they're paying you $199 a week, which is our suggestion, and you're doing 30 minute training sessions with them one-on-one, -on -one, three times a week, you would add $17,000 in top line revenue with a net because you're losing 3,500 of the, your EFT, your net would be $13,000 right now, just by adding 20 members. And the goal would be, if I were you, is try to get 50 people on personal training. So you have two tracks that you take them on. You do group training, which is your feeder system for personal training. And in your personal training, your goal is to get to 50 members on that. You have enough trainers, each trainer could have 10. You could pay them $20 per session. At that point, they're making $40 an hour because they're 30 minute sessions. You pay them $20 per session. They're doing three per session per client. So if you think about it, they have 10 clients, they're doing 30 sessions over the week. That's only 15 hours a week of work. They can still coach classes. You intermingle them in and you spread it out and you work it that way to the point where now you have 50 people. That's adding another $42,000 on top of what you're doing right now. So all of a sudden you move from, let's say you have 200 EFT members in a large group. That's $42,000 right there. And then you have 50 PT clients and that's another 42,000, almost $43,000 right there. So right there between those two, you're almost at $85,000 a month. Out of a 1500 square foot facility, you don't even need to grow your trainers. You just have everyone you already need. You, if you have seven people, you have more than enough to handle that. And if you move to personal training, they're gonna make more money and they're gonna be a lot more satisfied. And they're definitely gonna wanna do it full time. And that does not even count when you sign new people up. So front end cash flow of bringing new clients in because you have to bring in a lot of clients at 17% churn. So we gotta drop that. But either way, as you bring new people on into front end offers and challenges and things like that, that would add on realistically another 15 to $20,000 if you're doing it right. So you could easily be doing $100,000 out of your facility every single month. But I think realistically for you, getting to $85,000, you could do that in the next six months just by implementing these three things. So recap, action step number one is try to get everyone onto three times a week, $49 per week. You build them every 28 days, just like you are right now. That would bring everyone up to 196 for every four weeks. Monthly, you're making roughly $210 per client. If you move to that right now, you would go from $37,000 a month to $44,000 a month without changing a single thing. The next thing that you need to do is lower our so we're gonna implement the five horsemen of retention, the five steps that we have outlined and identified as the best way to reduce churn. And last but not least, you're gonna add in a personal training program and your goal is to take 10% of your current clientele, ascend them into that, so no cost of acquisition for you, and then ultimately look to build to 50 personal training clients. This would add another 40 to $45,000 a month in revenue by charging them $199 a week for three sessions per week, and each session is only 30 minutes. Do that, and this is how you can scale and build to a million dollar year facility out of 1500 square feet in Miami. So body by Miller, crush it. I look forward to seeing how you do it. For those of you that have watched this video, if you find it interesting at all, I appreciate your time. I never want to take advantage of that time and attention. So I appreciate that. If you want to learn more about how we at Gym Launch help gyms be able to implement this process seamlessly and effectively into their business and not screw it up, and you want to learn more about that, there's a link down below. You can book a call with our team to see how we can help you. Otherwise, please just subscribe to the channel. Enjoy all the free content and the value. I appreciate every second that you take to watch what we provide. And remember always, gym owners rule.